here's the thing. I know I said my next video was going to be finishing off the last DIY, doing the little house of the picket fence, all that fun stuff. But while I was looking for my sketchbook for my ideas, I found this little thing that I doodled at some point in history. It's a cute little lemon bowl, and I haven't been able to think of anything since. And 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 now I have to make this because I'm just going to procrastinate everything else in my life until this is made. So we're doing that. We'll do the houses and picket fences and stuff next time, hopefully. This fantastic little tool here is a circular saw drill bit. If you are a DIY person and don't already have one of these in your kit, you need to get one. They are brilliant, especially when it comes to small pet DIYs, making doorways and things like that. So I have a little six centimeter diameter one and a five centimeter diameter one and a scrappy piece of wood, which is an off cut from last week's project. Step one is cutting out the smaller of the two circles. A sensible saw would wait until this has cooled down to touch it. However, Ha, ha, ha. So I'm going to be going over this same hole with the larger drill bit, so we'll be cutting a ring out of the wood. But to make sure everything is lined up properly, I'm going to take that piece of wood that I've just cut, and I'm going to put it back into the centre. And then I can take my the point of my drill bit, put it through that hole, and it should then cut evenly and neatly. So now... We have a wooden ring. You know, one thing I should remember to talk about, alternative methods. So for those of you who either don't want to or aren't able to work with power tools and wood and things like that, there are almost always easier alternatives to all the DIYs I do. Most of the time if I make something out of wood and power tools, you can easily recreate that using cardboard, scissors and pet safe glue, which just means a non-toxic, water-soluble children's glue. If I was remaking this DIY so that it was friendly for all levels of capability, I would probably go ahead and take the DIY dish that I made in this video a couple of years ago. This is all just DIY stuff made from just cardboard, scissors and glue. Really, really basic basic, simple stuff. Take the dish that I made there and then I would also go to this video I have where I made the uh, DIY donut tube and I have a paper mache recipe in that. Grab the paper mache recipe from there, paper mache this bowl and then just paint it the lemon colours. At least that's the method I would probably use. I'm sure you can come up with something else if you want to do something else. Anyway, back to this one. So if you look closely at this ring, you can see it's pretty rough cut. There's a lot of jagged edges. So I'm taking my handy dandy Dremel with a sander attachment. I'm just going to sand this right down so it's completely smooth. Take away those corners, those curves, those rough parts, and that should give us a much nicer looking bowl shape. And there you go, a heck of a lot smoother and a lot nicer looking. As you may have guessed, this piece is going to be the rim of the dish, so now we need to make the base, otherwise all the food's gonna fall out and it won't really be much of a dish. In an absolute ideal situation, I'd have a very thin piece of wood lying around somewhere that I could use for this, but unfortunately I don't. So I'm gonna be using cork for the base. So I'm just gonna go in with a pencil and draw around the inside of the bowl and then just cut that out with a pair of scissors. Just check that fits. Nice tight fit, which is exactly what you want. To be honest, that's adorable enough as it is. You could just glue that piece in and be done. It's a cute little natural bowl. But that is not what we are here for, so pop that piece back out. Time to get the paint. And just a reminder, I do have a video on pet safe paints. You will find it linked in the cards wherever, wherever they go at the top of here somewhere.
ta-da, and it's finished. It's adorable, it's so cute. I love it. And you might be able to see that slight sheen on the bottom. That is because off camera I gave it a layer of varnishing, so to speak. I don't actually have any pet safe varnish at the minute, so I just used the clear glue that I was using earlier and I just gave it a coat of that and that just gives it a nice shiny finish. Doesn't really do much in the way of actually protecting it. <laughs> I don't plan on using this bowl for anything other than dry food and treats. I don't plan on putting any wet foods or fresh foods in here. So I'm not too worried about protection because it doesn't really need it if you're only using it for dry food and dry snacks. Oh, and I also painted the base of it yellow as well. Not that you're ever gonna see it, but I just it, it just looks more finished that way. So yeah, that's just a cute, quick little DIY that I wanted to do. Very glad I did. I'm very happy with the way it turned out. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, comment, all that usual stuff. And I will see you guys with the DIY I actually promised, uh, hopefully quite soon. Goodbye.